This crazy mess of wires is actually something very exciting. It's a prototype of my uh, Arduino pulse motor controller. So I wrote some software for the Arduino, which allows me to um, control with this pot the delay of the pulse and with this the duty cycle of the pulse. And it took me a while to write. It uh, was a bit more complex than I thought, but it all worked out. And so now I'm able to use the Arduino to um, switch this transistor, which switches the power supply and which then powers the motor. So let's uh, see how it all works. Um, I got it all hooked up. Uh, here is the Arduino pulse control and the serial monitor. So let me just give it a spin and we'll see what happens. Sometimes these, these potentiometers are not great, but there it goes. As you can see it's starting, drawing some amps from the power supply. And here on the serial monitor, on the left, you see the um, RPM. So you see the RPM going up. This is the duty cycle. It's currently at 43% duty cycle. And uh, those are the only two things that are uh, of interest right now. So you see you're already at 1500 hertz or uh, 1500 rpm 1600 and this is the voltage in the capacitor that's over there which is uh, being charged through this uh, flyback diode by the flyback voltage coming from these drive coils you see it's uh, speeding up we're at uh, about 2100 rpm which is not, not bad at all. And you see that you'll hear when I change the delay, it starts slowing down. So now we're going down to 1800. Turning up the delay. And now it starts speeding up again. You can also Tweak the duty cycle, you can also see that on the scope here. So I twist, see the duty cycle change. It's not very stable the number, but you get the idea. At least here you see now that I changed the duty cycle to 33 and we're at about 2000 RPM. So this is really cool. I now have a lot more control over the timing and the duration of the pulses and um, I'm planning to add a lot more to this Arduino uh, and I hope to get rid of all these wires, make a nice PCB out of it. But for now I'm really happy with the result and I'll post a link to this uh, Arduino code in the description of the video. Thanks.